Okay, this is James from Lean Warriors Global. And in this video, we're going to answer a question. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. We're going to answer a question from a YouTube viewer who asks, I think your name is Lynn, who asks how much of the electrolyte solution you should be drinking. So there's a couple of things here. The first thing I want to say is that you met, you started off the comment by saying that you are a fat hog beast. Now, that is excellent. And I applaud you for admitting that because this is the first thing that you need to do when you are a fat hog beast and overweight and heading for disaster physically and probably emotionally and mentally as well. One of the first, the, the, the best thing that you can do is to actually admit that fact and say, look, I need to make a change. And this, this whole channel of Lean Warrior Globals is for people that want to make a change. Yeah. I say this over and over again. And this is a really, really important point. If you want to make a change, this channel is for you. If you don't want to make a change, because here's the problem is that everyone will tell you, just as they told me, they will say, it's okay. You've got a few extra pounds. It doesn't matter. Everyone's the same. You'll be okay. Yeah. And this is the problem is that everyone is the same. So it's accepted. So there's a couple of videos. The other thing I wanted to say, there's a couple of videos on the channel. If you look back, there's one that says, what do you need to do if you need to pee a lot during fasting? I would recommend that you watch that because this is going to be very, very important to this question. And also there are there is another video somewhere um, actually about mixing up the electrolyte solution. So assuming that you know how to do that, how much you should drink is really going to be dependent on what your body tells you. Yeah. Now, you don't need to be drinking lots and lots, you know, liters and liters and liters of water per day. Maybe it might benefit you initially to drink a little bit more if you're flushing out your colon and that kind of stuff when you're fasting. But at the end of the day. I would say anything between a litre and two litres a day is going to be sufficient and your body will tell you how much you should be drinking. So if you are peeing out a lot, then look at the video back. It might be because you're releasing fat cells and the body is releasing the water from the fat. It might be because you're fasting and your body is releasing water as the glycogen comes out of your muscles because water is attracted to glycogen and stored in the muscles. So bear these things in mind, but maybe one litre a day, maybe two litres a day. And here's another thing that you can try is you can actually try dry fasting. So you could literally do sort of like intermittent dry fasting. Now, I haven't done a lot of dry fasting myself. The longest I've done is 44 hours. It's very powerful, very effective, and it will help you with the fat loss process to lose fat quicker. This is another little, little tweak, little trick that you can try if you want to really accelerate the process a bit. Yeah, aside from the other things that we say to do here on the channel, and which is walking, yeah, walking for an hour a day whilst you're fasting, some light muscle resistance exercise, moving because we're designed to move. Yeah, we're designed to be out and about doing stuff, you know, maybe traversing great distances, looking for food, looking for shelter, building shelter, reproducing, all that kind of stuff. It's how we are designed. We are not designed to be slumped in front of a programming device known as a television, having our heads filled full of shit. Yeah, which is just going to keep us basically sitting there like couch potatoes for the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of your life. Okay, so bear that in mind. Yeah, so keep moving as much as possible, and I would start off with a liter to two liters per day, and see how you go. Yeah, it's as simple as that. It's not a complex thing, and you know you should find that you'll be fine. The most important thing is that you have mixed up the electrolyte solution. This is why I say about drinking the electrolyte solution and not plain water, because if you're drinking plain water and you're just pissing it all out, then you're pissing out your electrolytes as well, which is bad news. And that's when you, I mean, you're not going to die from it, but it's not going to be optimal. And whilst you're fasting, you want to be optimal because here's the goal is to lose fat whilst you're fasting, while still living your life. And this is the big thing, while still living your life. Just because you're fasting, it doesn't mean to say that you need to lie in a useless slump on the couch or wherever it is doing nothing. Yeah, now you could do that if you want. And if you're doing extreme fasting, like some of you guys on some of you guys that are commenting on the channel, it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, you're going for like 14 days, 15 days, 16 days and beyond. You know, and that's absolutely fantastic. And as I say, the fatter you are, the easier it is to fast for longer periods of time. But unless you're doing something extreme, you know, like going two, three, four weeks, then you can still live a normal life. There's no excuse to stop normal function.
yeah so bear that in mind start off with a, uh, a liter to two liters a day and if you get value from these videos please like and share and also subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer because it helps to get the message out there to more people and basically we're on a mission to help the whole world get lean and healthy without all these diet programs without spending lots of money and without making yourself sick by taking extra drugs that you don't need all right so with that being said i will talk to you on the next video if you do have questions then please do put them in the comments on the youtube channel if you're watching on the blog then you can also see on the blog there is a actual page a section that says at the top ask a question and these are really really good because it tells me what you guys want to know talk to you on the next video